Welcome back to Guardians of Gaia with me, Megan Edwards. Tonight we'll be looking into the fast fashion industry and its impact on the environment. We also looked into the world of secondhand clothing. Now, if this is not your thing, then maybe a sustainable clothing line would be. We chat to Ilza Mink, the founder of Mink Clothing. Her line is completely sustainable, from the packaging to transportation to the materials and the methods used. She's managed to avoid toxic textiles while producing high-quality garments. But before we do that, we look at the crisis in numbers in Africa, South Africa and in the Mother City as we head into Climate Count. I started off with linen, pure linen only, because linen is an environmentally more sound fabric um, because of the nature of the crops. Um, they need very few, very little pesticides and very little water. Um, and generally, if the, if the fibers of the plant, the flax plant, if, if they get processed in the right way, then the processes are also more environmentally friendly. But I also love the natural feel on the skin, the breathability of the fabric. Um, and I've always loved classic styling and high quality. And for me, um, those aspects all have to work together um, to create clothing that will last, that people can wear for a long time, and that gives them value for their money, um, but also does not um, damage the earth. Um, the more we wash new garments, the more microfibers wash into the oceans. Um, it's becoming more and more known, especially synthetic garments. So the longer a garment lasts, the less microfibers get washed out of that garment. Um, also in Europe and in America, on average people buy a garment, they wear it six times and then it lands on this incredibly enormous landfill site. And clothing is one of the biggest environmental hazards. I use many plants from my own garden, um, but then I also go to Hanklip a lot, which is a beautiful wild area, um, and use Feinbos there. So I'm, I'm trying to use Feinbos. The woman who actually developed the eco-printing is Australian, and the Australian plants work really well. Luckily in Cape Town we've got a lot of aliens, so one could also see that one's clearing aliens through this process, although you'd have to do a lot of eco-printing to really have an impact there. Um, but a lot of the eucalyptus plants um, work really, really well. It seems plants that have a very strong aroma um, release the most color. Now it seems that there's more than one way to ensure that the clothing we wear every single day is better for the planet and for everyone else, whether it be sustainable clothing lines or secondhand clothing. When we come back, we chat to Sapi founder as she's combined the world of secondhand clothing and new clothing to create something never seen before. Stay with us. <laughs> 